Because I guess I just feel bad for the person who did it. Someone is vandalizing homes in Johnson County and leaving behind obscene words and images. The vandals have hit homes, a car, and even a park. These crimes are all taking place within a half mile of each other in Greenwood. Emily Longnecker shows us the damage and the connection between the victims. But what's next? That's the question Gina Riley is asking herself. After twice in the last month, someone vandalized a Greenwood home where she lived with her kids. They've gotten away with it twice. That's what worries me. Both times, someone has spray-painted obscene words and pictures on the side of Riley's house with blue and red paint. I am disgusted. It's sad because, I mean, we believe these are children. The image is so inappropriate, we can't show you what was painted. But whoever's responsible also wrote the word semen. I just, I just can't think of anyone who would do that. Whoever did, though, didn't stop there. They also targeted this home less than a half a mile away in the Innisbrook subdivision tagging this BMW with a skull and then spray painting the house too. The vandals weren't done. Instead, they also hit the nearby Wakefield subdivision, damaging the neighborhood's park, spray painting the phrase, those lights were no help, referring to some recently installed security lights and another lewd picture. They also left obscene words on this man's home. Yeah, they had to be at their house for some time. They had to go through more than a can of paint to get all four places. Investigators believe the incidents are all connected because the paint used is the same. That's what the victims think too. Well, I've seen all, all the places and, and it's all the same. As for a motive, investigators haven't figured that out yet. What they do know, each of the homes has a teenager who either goes to or attended Center Grove High School. One of those teens is in the school's show choir. Another teen from another targeted home used to be part of the group before graduating. I think, I think it's just a coincidence. There's no show choir person who would do that. Now, the damage caused by the vandals could rack up into the thousands. Those responsible could be looking at charges of criminal mischief if caught. Scott? All right, Emily. Thanks. We've had